Hey YouTube, this is Jennifer or Shrinking Jen and I am coming to you with my 38 week post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. And I haven't been here in a while. Um, it's been about six weeks since I made a video. Uh, I'm sitting in the same spot where I sat when I did my first very awkward video about a year ago, I guess. I don't know how long ago it's been. Um, but it was before, uh, I think it was before I had my first surgery date. I'm not sure. I mean, my first surgeon visit. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's been a while. Um, <clears throat> so, a lot has happened since my last video. Um, my highest weight ever that I know of was 274 pounds. And at my last video, it was 151.8. Last week, it was 139.4. And today it's 138.6. Yeah. Um, since last week, I've lost 0.8 pounds. Um, actually, I had lost and then gained like an, a pound and lost it again. I was sick and I was drinking lots of fluids. I think that made my weight go up really. I don't know. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> Since my last video, I've lost 13.2 pounds, and altogether, I've lost 135.4 pounds. I'm getting over a cold, so I sound kind of weird, <clears throat> but I feel good. So, um, I am 1.6 pounds away from losing half of my body. When I get to uh, 137 pounds, I will have lost 137 pounds. So... Um, that should be pretty soon, hopefully. My weight loss has slowed down some, but I haven't really been exercising or anything. So, um, In 10.6 pounds, I will be at normal BMI. 13.6 uh, pounds, and I will be at goal, um, which is very exciting. Um, <clears throat> I am currently wearing a size 6 jeans. And a medium shirt, which this shirt's a large, but um, I can wear mediums. Um, I feel great. Um, I have lost 90.2% of my excess weight. Um, and I'm reading off this paper. <laughs> I have some food issues. I am learning that... Um, I am afraid of regain. Um, I'm scared to eat because I'm scared that I'll gain my weight back because I see people doing it. I also see people being very successful and they're successful by eating right and exercising. And I know this, but it's up here. It's like um, I, I just I need to work on it. I need to learn how to eat in a healthy way but a problem that I have is that I can't physically eat more than an ounce and a half to two ounces if it's rare for me to be able to eat two ounces of anything I mean I have pain if I try to eat more um, and I do try because I know that my body is Pretty soon it's going to run out of fat to live on because basically I've been living off of the fat on my body for the last nine months. Um, and at some point I'm going to run out and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to rely on food for energy. <laughs> um, but I'm not doing really well with protein either. Uh, I did have a protein shake today. I'm trying to do better. Um, so... Don't follow my example on some stuff because um, I need to work on some food issues. I'm just really afraid that I'm going to go anorexic or something. So, um, which I have no danger of being anorexic right now because I, you know, a little bit too big for that. But the mindset is what I need to work on. Okay. I have a lot of excess skin and I don't like it at all now don't get me wrong I'm glad I had weight loss surgery and I'm glad I've lost 135 
0.4 pounds. Uh, and I'm glad I did it quick. But <clears throat> I just think that if I'd lost slower, maybe the skin would have had more time to go. I don't know. It, it may have never gone back to normal. I don't know. But um, I have lost over 14 inches per thigh. Um, and the skin is pretty much still there. So you can imagine how that looks. Um, but when I'm wearing clothes, I look okay. You can't even tell it. But um, my arms... Um, yeah, I have muscular arms. They're muscular. But, yeah. And uh, my belly. Which, my belly is not as bad as I thought it would be. I think I can deal with it, maybe. <laughs> um, and I still have fat there. So, I mean, you know, once that fat goes away, it probably won't be as bad as it is now. And there's still fat here, too, but it's a lot of skin, too. Um, and um, my butt is saggy, like an old lady butt. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> of course, my thighs. Um, just empty. Just like a deflated person, which is what I am, I guess. Um, so, those are things I'm dealing with. I mean... I don't think I'll ever be able to have the surgery to have any of this skin removed because I'm probably going to lose my insurance unless I get a job because I'm getting a divorce. And it's not related to weight loss surgery or weight loss or anything like that. So, um, and I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm looking for a job. So... I don't know, even if I get a job and I get insurance, I mean, this may be considered pre-existing. They may not cover it anyway, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, a lot has happened since the last time I was on here. And I haven't really been watching your videos. I miss watching videos and I need to get back into it. My laptop is being stupid and I don't have any sound. It decides to have sound when it wants to. Um, and I don't have earphones because they're broken. So the only time I can watch videos is on my phone and that's annoying. So, um, but anyway, I think that's all I had to say. That's all I had wrote down anyway. Um, I want to do a body shot and this is so funny because this is the, the same spot I was in when I did my first video and the same spot I was in when I did my first body shot and uh, hopefully I don't run into the wall like I did on the first one. So, here I go. This is so crazy and it's like, it's almost emotional because when I was doing that body shot just now, I was remembering, I mean, it just seems like just yesterday really that I did the first one and, um, you know, I was so embarrassed to even show what I looked like and um, now, you know, things are a lot different. So, um this is an emotional journey, you guys. If you haven't done it yet, prepare yourself for the journey of your life because it is. Um, you'll laugh and you'll cry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of changes. But anyway, here I am just rambling now. But um, that's all for this week. I'm not going to promise next week because I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I will come back and do another update. Um, maybe I will uh, lose that 1.6 pounds and come back and do a half of my body video or something. And But I'm going to try to come back more often. I know I keep saying that, but, um, you know, 
life happens. <laughs> See ya!